seems to be the trouble, old chap. I've been commissioned to adapt my novel for the screen. But the words have dried up. I need divine intervention. Mesdames et messieurs, bonsoir. Tonight, I will use my precious mystical gift. I've got it! I'd like you to conduct a seance at my home. This Thursday, the moon is full and we must harness its power. Perfect. Oh, Madame Abacard is a fraud. You said so yourself. It'll be superb inspiration for my new screenplay. Is anybody there? Oh, is that you, Maya? My spirit guide. She was Tutankhamun's wet nurse. I do hope she's not still lactating. <laughs> is there anyone on the other side that you think of? Elvira, his dead ex-wife. I shall have to go into a trance. <laughs> <laughs> Vera? Hello? You're dead. <laughs> the ghost of my first wife is here with us in the room. Surely you can see her. She's standing right next to you. Are you drunk? Who's she? My wife. I'm your wife. Not anymore. Can he by any chance touch her? I sincerely hope not. It's not a coincidence that you haven't published a word since my demise. Finish the first act of my screenplay. Elvira, help me. She's dangerous, Charles. You're the one I love. I haven't the foggiest idea how to send her back. You're in trouble now. <gasps> to true love. True love never dies. Something must have gone hideously wrong. Is not for the first time. Oh, something took place. I can feel it in my base chakra. Probably trapped wind. Hey Lisa, here with a bonus movie fact. Did you know that the set for the Ten Commandments was buried underground for decades? Cecil B. DeMille, director of the 1923 film, thought the movie set, including 21 Sphinx replicas, was too valuable to let other filmmakers get their hands on it. He figured it was just cheaper to bury the set than to move it, and the artifacts remained underground near the California coast for 94 years before archaeologists found them in 2017. Do you like my show? You can get one for yourself in the link in the description.